Good morning here on Inauguration Day. I'm here outside the White House. You know, I thought uh, be a little bigger, uh, especially the West Wing. Thought the fence would be higher, maybe uh, an armed guard or an armored car or a fighter jet or something would be here. But anyway, we're here. I don't know if you've noticed this. We've been doing these little midweek momentums for about a year now. Never once have I really talked about politics. Now, there's a couple reasons for that. One is these momentums have been designed to be encouraging and just bring you some truth. Encouragement and truth with politics, maybe not a great mix, I don't know. The other reason though, and the biggest thing is this, I really wanted to focus on what is most important, okay? I mean, I'm an old guy. I, uh, I was born when uh, Eisenhower lived here, and then uh, Kennedy and Johnson and Nixon and Ford and Carter and Reagan and Bush and Clinton and Bush, am I getting them all? Uh, and Obama and Trump, and I think I'm gonna live till Biden gets in, but I'm not sure. I'm kind of standing along a very slippery road right now, so may not make it. Uh, but what I have noticed is none of those men, none of those people are worth my total devotion, are worth me giving my life to, are worth me, uh, are worth me making them the ultimate authority in my life. Only one is. You know, I've also noticed that, uh, you know, there's always these conspiracy theories, but the ultimate conspiracy theory that needs to be debunked is that the enemy of God thinks he is going to win in the long run. I really don't think he's right on that. So I think today be just a, a good day to stop and kind of reprioritize a little bit. Okay, make sure that we're focused on the true kingdom, the kingdom that Jesus said we ought to seek first, the kingdom that Jesus said is close at hand, and the kingdom that Jesus said there is no entry into this kingdom apart from me, apart from, yeah, hey, one other little thought here. How about a revolutionary thought since we are kind of talking about politics? The most important revolution is the revolution that Jesus came to produce in our hearts and lives when we turn to him in repentance, in faith, in belief, a revolutionary change. Let's make sure we're focused on what is truly important today.